Cool, okay. <clears throat> Dear Dad, I'm sorry for the first time I ever spoke to you. How much your excitement has, must have gone down when you realized I wasn't saying papa, I was saying papa, as in food, as in feed me, feed me as in now. <laughs> Dear Dad, you alongside mom spent a ton of money on my sisters and I never spoiled us rotten and it takes good parenting to be able to do that. And dad, I'm sorry, so sorry, that I ruined that very expensive Easter dress you bought me, but it was age three, so. Dear dad, I know mom says I got the worst from you, like my pale skin that doesn't tan, I only burn, or my lips that need like four coats of like lip plumper to look a normal size, and dad, I'm sorry she sees them as strange traits in you, but beautiful traits in me. Dear dad, I apologize for not always talking in Spanish around you, even though it is my first language, the one I speak most fluently. Leaving you like an American elderly man listening to that Chacarron song, trying to figure out what it says. But dad, I wrote this poem in English so that when I read it out loud, <laughs> you, you would laugh when the others laugh and go, aw, when the others aw. <laughs> out in Espanol when I finish it, so that I can translate it to you word for word, and only you, because everyone else in the room understood it the first time. Dear Dad, I'm sorry that I tell Mom that I love her more, than, more often than I tell you, but know that it's with the same affection when I do, as I do her. You're the first man I ever loved and continue to love. And dad, just know that I'm praying for anything I've done. I'm paying for everything that I've done wrong to you when I smell your farts or can't sleep because you're like the loudest snorer ever. Dear dad, don't think we don't notice when you repeat the end of mom's lectures like an echo so that mom thinks you're on the same page as her, but really you're on the same page as us. And dad, just know that your best lesson is the one where she says, you, is the one where mom says, you don't need a man to survive, much less a boy who hurts you, and you say, el que te lastime, a chingar a su madre. <laughs> Querido papá, Te amo, and I don't even want to begin to think what I would do without you, and no, there's not a scary spider in my room who's pushing me to tell you this. 